Hey guys, this is Shaq, and I hope you guys are doing excellent. I'm going to read something to you from this Bible. Um, <laughs> you know that, let me open up my visor, D-Man, dmanforchrist.com, you can click more info on the right and see this channel. Look at, he sent me this Bible and he put Shaq on L on it. He just sent this to me, out of the kindness of his heart. So, let me sit on the bike real quick and read you something, and then we'll take a ride. Look at this, Revelation 2. This is sweet, liberal Jesus. Of course, I'm kidding. I notice people have a different view of how Jesus is, but when you read about how he really is, he, uh... Well, I'll let you judge for yourself. Look at this. Jesus is talking about a church, and he's basically telling them, he's talking to this church of Ephesus, and he says... I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience. And look what he says. And thou, and he says, by the way, I'm reading from Revelation 2.2. 2. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Notice Jesus is calling people evil there. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and has found them to be liars. Okay. So let's ride. Let me put this in the uh, back back here. Okay, so you notice Jesus is talking about people being liars. That's Jesus talking there. He's talking about them being evil, certain people. And he basically praises that church for that purpose, for them recognizing that. And here we go. Let's try. Now, I'm also going to talk to you about the radio show we're doing Sunday, and we're doing a Bible study tonight. So let's get the camera situated. We're all set. So did you guys hear that? So, you know, when I was an atheist, as I peek around the corner here, um, the Jesus in my mind that I thought I knew as an atheist was not the real Jesus. It was the world's Jesus. A Jesus that accepted all types of evil and he didn't have any problem with it. That's what the world teaches. But that's not the real Jesus. There will be a Jesus of judgment. Now, as we know, we're in Jesus Christ. We're not judged. Uh, John 3.18 says, Those that believe in him are not condemned. But those that do not believe in him are condemned already because they do not believe in God's only Son. I'm zipping up my military spec yellow vest here so it's interesting that Jesus actually praises the church of Ephesus and that they could not tolerate the evil let's go ahead. of these uh, people that he was talking about Did you know what? Also, it's interesting that it says when Jesus comes back and he creates his kingdom for once and for all, it says that he will rule them with a rod of iron. So the Jesus that I know, uh, a lot of people are going to respect him. And he is very authoritative. He's not like liberal. But um, I'll talk to certain people and they'll talk about Jesus and they have like a totally non-biblical view of how Jesus is. Like as if he was just a prophet, he wasn't God. Jesus is God. Okay.
By the way, we're doing a um, Bible study tonight on Wednesday if you want to go to my church. See right here this link on the top right that ends with church. It's a church I attend. I don't own the church. But it's easy to see me there. I'm the only one wearing a motorcycle helmet in the congregation. Just kidding. Um, go there tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time right here and you'll be able to see live church, live band. Do you know, and I'm not kidding you, that I've had atheists that I've invited to that church and I'm not uh, making this up. They're like, you know what? It, it is good. They go, it's not like how I thought. You guys know I would go to an awesome church. Let me close my uh, air vents here so I don't get wind in. One, two, three. All vents closed. The church that um, I attend uh, teaches like a college course. It's similar to like you're in college, for example, university, and you're being taught the history of the Bible. We also teach on Revelation and stuff. But let me go through a few things. This Sunday, we are doing a radio show, and we're gonna have. You're gonna be able to be in a chat room while atheists and Christians talk, and we're gonna prove to you that evolution is a lie. That's right. Now I know those of you that believe in the lie of evolution. You're gonna be like, no way. Be careful. Be careful of how bold you speak on evolution because when you listen to the radio show, you're going to change your mind. I wouldn't say it if I wasn't confident of what's going to be shared on the show. So be very careful to defend the flawed position of evolution because then once you realize that it's not true, sometimes ego gets in the way and you're not able to backtrack. Always be willing to admit you're wrong when you are wrong. Those of you that believe in evolution, by the way. I think what happens is people realize evolution is not true, but all their life they've been defending this lie. So they almost take it personally, like if they now admit that evolution is errored and flawed and a lie, that um, it's like they're stupid. No. How could it be stupid not believing in evolution? the complete opposite um, so we're doing the radio show here see where it says uh, shakanow.net you go there Sunday and there'll be a live chat area as the radio station is playing the audio in the chat there'll be all kinds of atheists and Christians in the room together all kinds of them and they'll be typing back and forth as we talk about why evolution is not true and we're going to bring up actual facts that will cause evolutionists to stutter and stammer and admit they are wrong and that's good because we, we know evolution is a lie so let's go through the agenda guys we got tonight let me get over here we got tonight bible study 7 o'clock p.m. pacific right here it'll be live video video feed an audio feed from church I'll send you out a reminder about 10 minutes before it starts and then we have live radio on uh, live at chakanow.net actually the radio program there there'll be a live chat session going on as the radio program proving that evolution is a lie and foolish That'll be playing at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. Be there, be square. I am positive that my Lord Jesus Christ is very pleased that we are pointing out the evil and the sin of evolution. It's a sin because you choose what the world has taught over what God has said in the Bible. The Bible and evolution totally deny each other. So you can choose to sin and deny God's word and believe the world and believe in evolution 
Or you cannot sin and believe what God said, that he created man. 